Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Carlijn, but my friends call me Car. I love to travel and want to share my trips and adventures with you all on this vlog. I'm not amused. We got an angry on. Day two in uh, Tokyo and jet lag is real, guys. It's no <laughs> joke. <laughs> That's from Rough Night. Rough Night reference, yes. If you know, you know. Anyway. So yeah, we woke up really, really late. <laughs> we're not sure what we're gonna do, but we're gonna have breakfast now at X. <laughs> That's right, you heard that. It's actually called. Oh, Glenn knows giving us a shoe. We're going matchy matchy today, by the way. I just wanna. <laughs> um, and we'll keep you guys posted. Updated. Posted. Oh. <laughs> All right, what are you having? Yeah, the <laughs> signature dish. There we are. And then we'll do a burger. And then a burger. Oh, can you eat this now? In record time, we devoured this breakfast and it was egg heaven. Post brekkie, we decided to take a shortcut to go check out a 3D billboard. Ay, ay, ay. We thought, oh, we'll just take a shortcut and go through the station. Now uh, we're, you know, knee deep in the station. Yeah, this is the station. What are we looking for? West gate. And we had to jump a little, little gate. We're already we... breaking rules. And only one hour later, we finally found the famous 3D billboard. And filming it from afar really didn't work out, so I really had to zoom in for this bit. It's amazing. Do you know what? Oh, the guys are all the the Kawaii. 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 it's cute, it's cute, Kawaii. thank you. <laughs> Kawaii is not only a word meaning cute, but it's an actual pop culture in Japan. It's the culture of cuteness, which is hugely popular. Um, kawaii culture embraces humans, items, even animals, and many different things in life, such as art, lifestyle, fashion, music, anime, and even food. So here we're walking around in Omoide Yokocho, otherwise known as Memory Lane. This area is a maze of narrow alleys with tiny, tiny restaurants and open barbecue food stalls. And the buildings here look kind of run down, but the food stalls are very traditional and this is of course part of the charm of this area. Okay, so it started raining. Caroline thinks this cloud is gonna pass. This too shall pass. I think it's pretty much gray across the board. We had our fair share of sunshine and now the fun is over. That's right. Tokyo was like, nah, not gonna be sunny the whole day, sisters. <laughs> Psych. Where are we? No Where are we? Konnichiwa. <laughs> All right, so um, we are at the Meiju G Shrine. Actually, you tell it because I'm way too tired. Well, you said it pretty pretty correct. We're at the major G Jingu, I think. Jingu Shrine. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, apparently neither of us said it correctly. It's actually pronounced Meiji Jingu. Sorry, Japan. The entrance. It's really big. Very like, Japanese. Just to give you an idea, how big? Ah, the lights. Oh my God, beam. There it is. <laughs> Uh, you can take the model out of the runway, but you can't take the runway out of the model. Never! <laughs> After a short stroll in this super peaceful forest, we arrived at the Shinto Shrine. The Meiju Jingu Shrine is one of the most famous shrines in Tokyo, and it was built as a dedication to Emperor Meiji and Emperor Shoken, and was completed in 1920. Here you see me making a donation, which is followed by two bows, clapping your hands twice, making a wish and bowing once more. I also was really doubting if I was doing it correctly because I didn't want to be disrespectful. <laughs> okay, we're here at the stand where you can, you can buy a little poem 
Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, very good. This is a number. I'm going very fast. Sorry. <laughs> Clients down to get that over call. Yeah, I need to know my, yeah. Were we to neglect the completion of a task because it was hard, nothing would be done at all in this human. This is so, so crazily accurate. <laughs> It is. Yeah, by Emperor Meiji, whose spirit is enshrined in Oh, so that's who, okay, now I get it. That's who you just left money for as well. It's hopefully the spirit. Poem's message based on the traditional Shinto right. ethics will have particular meaning for you. Getting, getting her fortune. Okay. Like Your oracle, fortune sorry. <laughs> it's not a fortune cookie. It's 21. Number 21. Oh, there she is. Even if you fail to keep up with others on your life's journey, do not fail to tread onwards on your own rightful path. I love that. Yeah. Here you see me walking up to a wall of sake barrels, which are referred to as Casa Ridaru. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, the barrels are empty, but spiritually they represent a gift to the gods. So the weather changed on us. Now we're standing shielded from the rain. And there's a security guard there they told us that we have to stand around the corner so Carlyne obliged and you're standing just the that i am so i'm standing my ground yeah you are on the corner though <laughs> we're in the lift on our way to the hedgehog cafe totally got soaked in the park what's his name saburo saburo yeah saburo you look like you only love your owner <laughs> hey little buddy so cute! I'm gonna hold it like the, the way the, the boy holds. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. <laughs> perfect. Okay. Oh, that face! Look at you! Oh, Mimi! Oh, you see some toys here. Oh, Mimi is knackered. I'm gonna grab another one because this one's too rowdy for my taste. Hello, Mr. Hedgehog. <laughs> Oh, is that pork? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> I don't trust this one. You gotta scoop them from the butt. Okay. You bit you? No! You sense fear, so whatever you do, don't show them the butt. You like it to scratch on the bum. What's the water? Play with the bottle. Bottle. Play with it. It rolls. Whee! <gasps> that sound was not okay. okay. Let's take the bottle and put it right on our bag and go. Konnichiwa! Hi. We just came from the Hedgehog Cafe. And our first batch of hedgehogs that we got oh my God. were sleeping. And then we got transferred to a second batch. Those were biting us. Anyways, we've yet to see cherry blossom though. That's actually what we're gonna do today, but we got sidetracked. And uh, yeah, so maybe we'll never see cherry blossom. I don't know. I think they're gone. Don't be so negative. <laughs> Well, after the revenge of the animal kingdom, which I don't blame them really, we decided to hop in a cab and try conveyor belt sushi for dinner. Whitefish. Okay, so I'm just getting a little glimpse of the conveyor belt. Okay, so we can take it off here or we order something on the menu and then the train comes and brings it to us. Okay, uh, I want fatty tuna, which is toro. It's definitely ours. High speed train incoming. Is it a lot? It's a lot. That's all of our food. Okay, we may have gone a little bit overboard. So already, we already ate all those plates. <laughs> and more seems to be coming every time. We were rushed when ordering. And the train oh. just arrived. <laughs> Karina, the summer sushi. Oh my god, good night. They got their tiny sushis. This is fate! <laughs> you press the button. Bye bye, train. Let's look at all the plates. Oh, the conveyor belt. Kari, what's one of them? Let's do it. Do it with Hello! 
Give him some good if you want. And we're closing. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey there guys, thanks for watching another episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe below and drop a comment if you can. I would really appreciate it. Ciao. Follow me, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs>